Okay, Barry, welcome to the magazine. Okay. Um, you've been here five years in the region, as you said. What's your history yourself personally in motor racing or motor cars? Well, I, I got started motor racing really on, on motorcycles. In fact, in Dubai, back in the 70s, I came to Dubai in 1977. We set up a, one of the first things we did, and we, I mean a, a group of friends, of course, was there was nothing much here in that way. So we set up a motocross club. Uh, we imported bikes from Japan. Sheikh Mana kindly let us use his old football stadium as he created the Al Nasser Motorsports, uh, sorry, the Al Nasser Football Club. Uh, so we built a supercross track, and it's a family sport. And there were lots of families here with children and mums and dads. And before we knew it, we had a full-blown racing scene going on, which still exists 32 years later. Uh, but that's, that's how I started. So in that time, you must have seen a lot of changes. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting that, you know, the, the population, the sort of demographics of Dubai are such that it's quite a transient area, although a lot of people the more people you meet, you realise, like, like myself, you know, you end up staying here. And my, my children were born here and, you know, we, we treat this as home, absolutely. But we had a busy karting scene in the 70s. Uh, it, was, it was going very well, we had motocross, and then the rallying started at, at the end of the 70s, 1979. Dubai had its first international rally organised. Um, so motorsport has been on, on the go for a long time. But the big change was building circuits. It's leading on to my next question. Uh, what, what's your opinion on the new, the new tracks in the region, especially Yaz? We're, we're extremely fortunate, aren't we? Because, you know, where else in the world have you got governments investing this amount of money on infrastructure? I mean, the consultants two years ago, I think we were in Bahrain for the, the Middle East uh, Motorsport Forum, the, the consultants have calculated that $11 billion has been invested so far in motorsport infrastructure and strategic uh, relationships and sponsorships. So this is, this is something that we're very fortunate to, to have. In your opinion, would there be anything um, the governing bodies could do to improve motorsport for the region? The, there's only so much the governments can do. I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of stimulating uh, the environment. But I think most importantly, what, what they are doing is is creating, uh, creating an environment where motorsport is accepted as, uh, as, a, valid, as a valid sport. Uh, and I think that's really important for people to understand that um, racing drivers are athletes and I think there's a big issue behind this whole notion of creating incentives uh, for, for people to, to show commitment, discipline, fitness. It's about fitness and nutrition. And, and I think for young people, it's absolutely superb. It's one of the best uh, sports that people can take up because of the things that they need to do. And I think the government support and investment, although they've put their country on the map through Formula One, what it also does is, is creates those incentives for young people to get involved. Do you manage to watch much motorsport on TV yourself outside of, outside of your work? Uh, not as much as I'd like, no. Um, there, are, there are satellite channels uh, that carry a lot of the motorsport I would watch, but I don't have them here. Uh, but uh, we, we, we do get to watch you know, Formula One and, and some, of the, some of the promoted sports, but no, I don't. And I'm kind of busy working as well. <laughs> okay, Barry, thanks for your time. You're welcome. And good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks.